So to take my strategy a little bit further about buying video cards or CPUs or whatever else you might want to try to find online, let's take an, take just an example here. So we'll go through this scenario, this exact scenario. All right. So we have an Asus GTX 1066 gigabyte white overclock edition. The seller is asking $225. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to eBay, type Asus GTX 1060. 3 gigabyte. We are going to scroll down on the left hand side. And again, you can do this with any CPU, GPU, whatever. Make sure it says ended recently. And now we can see what people are paying for this particular graphics card. So as you can see here, this one sold for what is it? 163 plus 21 shipping. So call it 180. Scrolling down, this one is uh, 190. That one was 250 didn't sell. This one sold for 203 210 So in this particular situation, I would not uh, consider this to be an excellent deal. It might be an okay deal. But as you can see, these, these GPUs are really starting to go down in price um, just by looking at like even a couple days ago. So they're all over the place. So if you consider that 200 is a good deal, uh, or if you consider that they're selling for 200 on eBay, rather, what if you think about the eBay fee? So eBay is going to charge about 10 to 15 percent in fees, so that's 30 dollars. And assuming that this seller is selling it and they're going to ship it, that might be another 10 to 15, you know, 11, something like that. So realistically, if a seller sells it at 200 and can get 200, then they're only really going to make around 160, 155, 160 dollars by the time you pay all the fees and everything like that. So that's where I start to look at graphics cards to be a good deal. Is if you think about the 10 to 15 percent fee, they're going to pay minus shipping. So for instance, I would want to price this around 150 and tell the seller, you know, look, if you sell this on eBay, this is what they're bringing. You can factually look this up yourself, seller. Look this up, and, and you can really figure out exactly what you'd want to pay. You know, if the seller was asking uh, like 150 I would probably jump on it. I would consider that a really good deal. But 200 not so much. So, again, you can use this tool all the time to do CPUs, GPUs, whatever cases, whatever you may uh, need to look up. And this is something that you can use as a tool to really help you find those deals in your local area.